Hi Cancer, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot. This is going to be your weekly love reading for singles, January 29th through February 4th. This is a singles love reading. If it doesn't resonate, just take what does and leave the rest. I have pre-shuffled this deck, so I'm only going to shuffle it for a moment. What do you have for the sign of Cancer? Oh, the battles are over? Maybe some battling is over, perhaps? Maybe a secret has come out or something has been revealed and you no know, longer need to fight about it? Something is happening here. Some kind of change. It's like there's finally some relief. Maybe there's a new beginning here. Maybe there's a reconciliation. There's good news regarding love, that's for sure. Somebody's taken the blindfold off, perhaps. They can't pretend anymore. There's Maybe somebody has been pretending, ignoring a situation. There's been some procrastination or a dilemma in your life. But it feels like... It feels like the something has been revealed and now there's some kind of reconciliation or something. Some kind of resurgence, perhaps, in a relationship. Yeah, it does take hard work for relationships to work out. It feels like there was some kind of observation being done. You know, some there was an intense conflicting energy. That's for darn sure involved in your life. Some intense conflicts, mentally restless energy. And somebody was being dishonest, but I think whatever it was, something has been revealed. Things are starting to be get better. I see happiness here. Um I don't want to quit. I'm not ready to quit. Somebody isn't ready to give up, okay? I'm not ready to give up on this. I'm ready to put in the hard work that it's going to take. Because I have a lot to offer. This is like generosity. This is uh, wanting to give more, wanting to receive. This is working it out. I feel like you guys are working something out. Things have been a little chaotic, but there's faith and trust here. It's like... I have faith and trust in our love. I have faith and trust in our relationship. Hmm. Let me zoom this in and then we'll get further. Now this is a singles reading. So, what the heck is this? Because it feels like some kind of competition or conflict is over. There's relief here. Maybe it's you've, you've split up. Maybe you have split up. Maybe maybe you're no longer going to hold on to something. You're, you've accepted something. Maybe it's been revealed to you that there is a new opportunity in love. Maybe a new person came into your life that's going to end up, you know, that could really make you very happy. No need to stay stuck in the past. Maybe that's where the dilemma is and the blindfold has come off. That could be the reveal. Maybe it's been revealed to you that there's no need to stay stuck in the past. And it takes hard work for a relationship to grow. So I'm really going to have to put a lot of effort into it. There's somebody that has been observing you. Okay? Or you've been observing them. And I see some gener generosity here. So somebody could be offering you some love. That's for darn sure. Offering you their time. Offering you something. And you're caught being called to have faith and trust. All right. Somebody from your past, perhaps. I think things are starting to be more calm. Think your life is starting to be more at peace. And you're starting to focus on your future. This is what this is. Your ships are starting to finally come in because of this. You have you have revealed the truth. Okay, that's what's happened. As many of you have accepted the truth of something. And that's why new love is coming in. You know, when you get to that point where you accept something, you accept the truth, and you start to feel more at peace, 
because these are both peace and harmony upright. Once you start to feel more at peace in your heart, in your mind, in your soul, that's when the new love comes in. That's when, when you are happy with yourself, that's when it comes in. It's like, yeah, I take the blindfold off. I'm going to accept the truth. That's exactly what it is. Because I feel like in the past there was no togetherness and now you might be ready to compromise. There's a lack of self-confidence here. There's a lack of self-confidence, a lack of strength in some arena. Perhaps in regards to a split, somebody has brought your confidence down. Somebody has brought your self-worth, your self-esteem, whatever, your inner strength down, your passion for life. What the heck is this? But now it starts starting to come back up. That's exactly what it was. Here, there's a lack of it now starting to come back up. So that's why this reveal, I can't live in this spot anymore. I'm not going to let you disrespect me. I'm going to respect myself more. You've taken the time to refocus. That's where the reveal came in. It's like I've taken this time to reflect and become aware of what has happened, what needs to happen, and where I'm going. This time of reflection has served you well, and it really, really has, because I think you went from a, a, a place of um, unhappiness, uh, lack of self-worth, lack of self-esteem, lack of self-respect to, I am going to fly, I am confident, I am going to respect myself, and I demand respect. So that's what's happened, because here's the lack, and here is where it switches. And it all happened because of your time of reflection after a split. You guys went through some kind of split that opened your eyes to what you're worth. And now, you know, I feel like there's been some uh, emotions, okay? There's been some emotions that have probably been out of whack that you really needed to focus on that caused you to refocus. I think that you've been overly emotional, probably crying quite a bit, especially if you're a female, you know, been crying quite a bit, just feeling like, I don't know why this is happening. You may see yourself as a victim. Um, you may have had your guard up and wanting to defend yourself constantly, feeling like you were on the defensive. But I think there's somebody from your past. Now you're ready for love. You took the time to reflect. You're taking the time to heal or you have taken the time. And this is typically somebody you know. And this is somebody from your past, the Six of Cups. And this, when I say somebody from your past, people get this concept, this idea that it's somebody that they dated. No. No. It could be. But typically, somebody from your past is somebody that you know. Okay? Somebody that maybe you had a spark with a long time ago but never dated. Somebody that you knew when you were a child. Somebody from your hometown. Somebody that you know. Okay? It doesn't mean it's somebody that you dated. It could be. All right? There's somebody that you know, I believe, that has been watching you, that is interested or you're interested in them. It could go vice versa. But, you know, you, you had this, the choice is in your hands. It's like they want to offer you love or you want to offer them love. But somebody has to make a move. There is a new opportunity, okay? There's a new opportunity for a new partnership here. Because you guys have went through this period of true growth. You have. With that hermit card under there. In this card, you have went through a period of true growth. And now it is time for some excitement okay it is time for a new partner of some sort a new passion <laughs> because you you you've released this heaviness you've made a decision or it's time to make the decision all right it's decision making time are you ready for this new person are you ready because the Justice card is about making something final. Reaching that final point. And I think that's what's happened. There's been some kind of revelation that is about to change your life. Okay? And now it's time for justice to be served. Your honesty. The fact that you are being honest with yourself will bring you the justice that you deserve. Honesty prevails. Trust me. And when I say honesty prevails... 
Honesty prevails within yourself. There's been some kind of disruption that opened your eyes that brought you the true growth. And now happiness is around the corner. Enlightenment. After a time of discontent, lack of energy, lack of self-worth, that same old story, we were already talking about it. You've been through a period of withdrawal, a period of I can't get up and move because of this despair. Emotion, overly emotional, crying. You've been through that. That made you reflect. That helped that rev this revelation come. And now happiness is on its way. But there's no rush. Because you still have a little bit of work to do. Okay? But you do. You do. It's like you're not... You're, you, yeah, you're, you're headed in the right direction. But you've still got a little bit of heaviness there. And it's, you really just have to really just make sure that your self-confidence is at the highest level. Okay? It's really time for you to move forward and be proud of who you are. Until you do, there's no forward movement. You have to master your emotions. That's the last step. Really, really mastering your emotions. And freeing yourself completely from this mental conflict. Master your emotions, but you're not because this is reverse and this is mental conflict. That's the last step. Remove the mental conflict. You're so close. You've come to this revelation that you deserve more, that you're worth more, that you need respect. But then on the other hand, you have a couple fingers that are, that are saying, oh, but this is wrong with me. This is wrong with you. That's not true. You need to look at things from a, a new perspective. Don't be bitter. Don't hate on yourself. Don't hate on yourself. Let that the idea of who you were die. It's time to become alive again. It's time to celebrate your new life, the new you. Have fun. Let go of the past baggage. You don't need it. It's too heavy. Drop it. Whoever you were dealing with was focused too much on money anyway. They weren't focused on love. That's for darn sure. And now it's a time of liberation. All right? It's time for you to, to stand up for yourself and smile and be happy. And do not look back. It's, time, it's a time of abundance. It's a time for you to really build your legacy. Okay, build it up. What's that? Field of dreams. If you build it, they will come. Build yourself up. It's a time of prosperity should you accept it. Accept your worth. Act now, think later. New opportunities are around the corner. You are, going, you are being offered a new opportunity for security, stability, abundance with somebody else who is a permanent choice. A permanent choice. But you have to love yourself first. You have to love yourself first. When you have that ultimate self-confidence... That's when this new security, stability, person, partner will come into your life. Are you ready? There's a possibility for new love to enter your life this week or next week or the week after or a year from now. It all depends on how quickly you can flip this Empress card around. Act now, think later. Some of you are on the tip of flipping her. The very tip. Some of you have... Years to go. When you can love yourself unconditionally, this new opportunity in love is going to come into your life. Some of you have new love coming in this week. Could be Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Could be any sign. They're all here. We have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn quite a bit. This is Taurus as well. 
we have Leo, we have Aries, we have Sagittarius, we have them all. We have every single sign here, so it could be any sign. You have plenty of options, put it that way. Again, with this reversed, it means that she has many options. You do have many options, okay? For happiness and a permanent relationship, you have that option if you're ready. And your confidence level is fulfilled. We're going to get you a spirit message. When she goes outside, she glows. Okay? The Empress is the pick of the litter. She glows. She vibrates very highly. She loves herself with complete compassion, um, fullness. She... Uh, has unconditional love for herself. Unfortunately, it's reversed. When you bring it upright, you will be picked. And this is what you're going through. Amazing, huh? Soul solitude look at looking into her soul see there's clouds but i'm going to read it to you i just want to make sure it's zoomed in that's a big one huh <coughs> your soul needs attention i gotta i gotta do this right here i'm telling you what <clears throat> you know it does your soul needs attention there are moments when it's important to get away, not just from the noise of the outside world, but to find a place where your soul can experience peace and quiet, a place for soul solitude. This is a time to pause, a time to reflect, a time for you. It's time for you to work on you and love yourself unconditionally. Take the time that you need. There's no rush. Happiness awaits. Love yourself unconditionally and your life partner will come because I see a permanent love here after you love yourself. Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, permanent. And the Ten of Pentacles is under here. Anyway, yeah, you have a permanent love here after you love yourself unconditionally take all the time you need to get there because it's a super important step talk to you later cancer